What's going on guys? Welcome back to GTA 5. Today, we're just gonna... Let me just turn on the radio right here. Oh, you son of a bit. Oh, here we go. So, we just did the, the third heist, which was fun, except we got nothing out of that. And now, we got uh, some new drop opportunities. We can meet Devin, and we can meet Solomon. And obviously, I want to know who this dude is. So, we're gonna go meet him first. And we're gonna see, you know, what the hell is happening with him. And what kind of missions we will be doing for him, and if we actually get paid, because... I'm pretty sure that at this point, the only mission that we actually got money for... Were, you know, some of the, the small assassination missions and the first heist. Uh, which I kind of screwed up, like a guy fell off of his bike. And I got nothing out of that, so it sucked. So maybe Solomon... Is gonna get me a bunch of cash. Don't worry, Solomon. I'm here. To, to do your business stuff that you want me to do. Drive up those stairs. Okay, I guess not. Whatever. Go, Michael. Go, Michael. Go. Let's meet this dude. This should be interesting. Finally, new character. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring, but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> okay, that's a cool guy. I like him. Let's take this car, because it looks really... What the hell are you looking at? No, I wasn't going to steal that car. How dare you imply something like that. Let's take my own car then. Don't stand in front of my car. Come on, man. Oh. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I promise I'm getting better at driving. Okay, there we go. So, anyway, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure what we're going to do with this guy. But is he going to call Solomon or something? Because... Ah, oh, here we go. Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. 
Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Okay, so we're gonna clip him. Or, well, actually, we're not gonna clip him. We're just gonna teach him some minors. Which probably means, you know, beat him the fuck up, shoot his leg off, something like that. In the world of crime. You know, I may not be book smart, but I am street smart, so I know that, that what's gonna be happening soon. We're gonna beat that sucker up. Uh-oh, oh no, oh god. Everything under control. I meant to do a sweet 360. Anyway, we're almost there. Here we go. I don't see any clubs. Do we have to actually follow the guy, or...? Hello, truck. Wait, a chopper? What? How am I gonna take care of a chopper now? Gentlemen! How you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here. Just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Oh, are we stealing the chopper? Alerting Rocco. Oh, here we go. I see a ladder. And of course tonight, there's like billions of people all over the roof. All just checking out, you know, at night, obviously you're gonna check out frickin' AC or whatever that is. Damn it. You bitch. I said you bitch. There we go. <laughs> Super stealthy knockout time. Now let's see. Oh, here we go. There's another ladder. <laughs> just kick the guy in the neck. I'm not sure if that really is a very stealthy approach, but hey, it works for me. Really do. Can you handle it? The rock talked to you about the grotto style setup in the back. Are you busting my balls? And if it's really get it done, okay? Duct tape and velvet will cover up most of that crap. Can I get you anything? Smash. You got any kale chips? Nah, we don't got that. Molly? Yeah, I've been pretty stealthy so far. Uh oh. Day trips over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Gonna have to fight this guy, huh? Lost wrinkles. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract, so they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No, this guy's all mine. Seriously? <laughs> what are you gonna do, you you bitch? <clears throat> Nothing. Yeah, bring it, bring it. Oh, yeah. Nice pink shirt. Oh, I got kicked some more. And some more. Oh, man, what the hell? Wait, let me... Hey, I'm embarrassed for you. Are you? Are you now? Idiot. Dude, <laughs> what the... All right, spray tan. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay? Sure, man. Sure. All right. So what happened Let's to the other dude? The Whatever. Oh, man, he still hasn't had his flying lessons. This could be a little bit problematic. I don't know who you think you are. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. Flying ra- oh. I don't know who you think you are? Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Can you just chill the F out? 
Oh no, it's a tower. Oh, let's fly under this. Oh god. I guess so. Come on, that didn't do the trick. There we go. <laughs> I'll blow you. Obviously, this is the way that movies are made in Hollywood. You just intimidate stars. Every time Brad Pitt is in a movie, they just beat the shit out of them. Kidding me? Oh, this will work. Put it there. The water tank turned parking lot. Setting it down. Beautiful. Let's go, boys. Let's go talk to Mr. Solomon. I know Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I will come to you. Ah-ha! What a wonderful surprise! Anton, my boy! You're an artist, I know that! And this hey. story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliché-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya! So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume, but would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. Ah, hell yeah. Seems like it's really easy to convince Michael to do some work for you. Silent Assassin is one. I probably was supposed to take him all down. Can't touch this perfect touchdown. Yeah, I don't really care about about gold medals or anything like that, so whatever. It's cool. So let's take a look here. I still have some time left. Is my car around? Doesn't look like it. Well, in that case, then let me just go over here and take this perfectly. Oh, wait a second. There's more cars. Look at that. And the chopper's still here, too. Come here, chopper. You belong to me now. Thank you. So I guess for the next mission, that the only one that's available is to go to Devon. And we don't really know him yet, so that would be interesting to... to see what his deal is. Let's make sure that we do not crash this chopper into everything ever. So I'm gonna try and fly there a little bit safely. And hopefully Michael's flying stat will increase because he's terrible at flying, obviously. I'm really good at flying because I've been playing Battlefield 4 and I fly choppers all the time. And that's way more challenging than flying a chopper in GTA, so... Yeah, I think, I think I'm good. Gord. Uh, there we go. It's right... Oh, God. I almost didn't see that crane thing. Let's just get you down here safely. Nope, 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 nope. 
Why is Michael so shit at flying choppers? There we go. That's a perfect landing right there. Good job, Mikey. Let's go talk to my boys. Mm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Wait, what about Franklin? Oh, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Well, that guy's kind of a prick. Fine, let's take Michael's car. I think it's Michael's car at least. No, wait, it's not. This is a different car. Go to a gas station. What are we doing? Let's just get this bad boy over there then. Gas station. I'm pretty sure there's actually... There's still no gas in GTA. Oh, God. Sorry, homie. Brother. But yeah, I mean, I guess it doesn't really fit GTA because they're not... Oh, crap. Took the wrong exit. Or did I? <laughs> yeah. We cool. We cool. But yeah, I mean, GTA isn't very much realistic. It's a very, you know, it's, it's pretty much a satire of uh, our society. So, I guess having to go pump gas every 10 minutes would, wouldn't really fit the game. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. This car's too fast for me. And the angle at which I'm playing is still horrible, but it's the only way that I can really get decent sound. Like voice sound, or I'm gonna have to sit... I'm gonna have to use like a headset or something. Uh, I do not want to use a headset, so that will not be happening anytime ever. Because headsets suck. Anyway, this car's really fast, so we should be there pretty soonish. I hope it's, it's okay that I sort of destroyed it. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Okay, this sounds interesting. Gotta get them going at speed. What does that mean? Do I have to scare them? I'm gonna have to trick them into going on a little race? Because those are like the only options I can really think of. Hey, how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Oh man, they are in for a surprise. So I guess that is what is happening. Let's go, bitches. Let's do some racing. And obviously they have super fast cars, so they will beat me in this race. But I assume that Michael and Trevor will be waiting for them, and they will arrest them, or something. What? How? What is? What the hell? Are you kidding me? That is just a very highly illegal maneuver. Yeah, I don't need to use a special ability though, because I'm an expert driver. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh shit! Oh god damn it! No, I got it. We cool. I've never really once had to use Franklin's ability, I think. Although I guess it can be useful in situations like these. Come on, dudes. Keep going. Let's go super fast. Man, they drive like maniacs. Now where the hell are my brothers at? Dressed as cops. Come on, I cannot, I just can't catch up to them. I mean, they really are just disgustingly fast. Come on. 
I know we should be close now because this is going to start getting a little bit more challenging. Obviously, I'm not a very good driver, so... You know, this would be the kind of mission where I just screw up majorly. What is up with the other guy? Where'd he go? Are you joking me? I'm gonna catch up to you, bitch. I don't know what happened to the other dude. <clears throat> I think something's happening, though. Yeah, there you go. Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Look Whatever. at them. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. He was actually eating a donut. You gotta be kidding me. You bitches are in trouble now. The police are coming. They ain't gonna stop with us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. Well, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Okay. Fine, so I guess I'm gonna go for the other dude then. Uh oh. Oh, it's a little bit easier with a bike because it's a way smaller vehicle, but I'm still not entirely comfortable with this. But uh, I think we'll be okay. I don't think they can hear the sirens. We've got to get close. How do you want me to get close? Okay, they're kind of ridiculously fast. Like, for real. Now we gotta stick with them. They gotta stop sometime. I mean, mate, what? How is he going that fast? I'm just holding down right trigger as tightly as I can, and I'm not going too fast. So. Stay on them, T. They'll stop eventually. No street racing. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's not street racing. It's highway racing, but whatever. You know, it's still illegal. Don't do that shit. Where are they going? Well, I hope so. Our patience will be rewarded. Stay with them. Oh, we're getting closer now, though. This is good. No, they're, we're getting closer to him. Oh man, it's we're actually we're catching up, I think. But it's really slow. Fucking bikers. Oh, here we go. You bitches are going down. Come on. Yeah, here we go. We're getting really close now, and I think we have him. They're slowing down. This looks like our shot. It's about time. Come on. Oh, really? Why are they not pulling over? I've been squeezing the right trigger so tightly the entire time, and I just am not catching up, I think. Okay. Finally. Whoa, hey. Stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> you know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit! Get the... Fuck out of here! Go on! Yay! We have their cars, which is good, and we have to go really, really far. Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? No. Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Seriously, don't scratch the cars? Do you even know who you're talking to? This is me we're talking about. I will wreck this car into oblivion. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Okay, then. Yeah, right, fool. 
Well, if I lose this race... Oh god, oh god, oh my fucking god. Oh god damn you. This car is too fast for me. Oh I, oh, I fucked up the car again. I told you guys this would happen. Oh god. I just knocked him off the road, I think. I was trying to read the chat and then... Didn't see that very plain looking car and I... Crashed him to bits, but whatever. Uh, this is really far. I hope they don't, like, pay me less because I scratched the car a little bit. Oh man, <laughs> this car is just all kinds of fucked up right now. That is not good. But at least we're almost there. We're in the city again, which is good. At least thought uh, maybe I can win this race. You know, that'd be pretty sweet. Seriously, if they pay me less for this... Okay. Well, here you go. I made it. I won. I'm the best person ever. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, oh, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan in Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. What the? Okay. So this should be interesting, but obviously it's not what is happening right now. Oh, nothing. It's just that. Okay. So, um, oh, that's a beautiful car right there. Split seconds, mission time, follow the leader. I don't know what that means, but screw it. I'm done. I did my part. 
So let's see what else is new for Michael. He doesn't have a job. We got a Devon job for Franklin, I believe. And then there's the um, the Berry, the Berry mission, which is good. We got the Paparazzi mission still going. We do have this one for Michael, but Strangers and Freaks most of the time turns out to be small activity type stuff, which I don't really care for too much. So I guess in the next part we will be switching to what is that? Assassination. That's pretty cool. Uh, I got a T. There's lots of stuff for Franklin, so I guess in the next part we will be switching to Franklin, and we're gonna tackle the um, the next mission for Devon, because that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm doing. So I don't really care what you guys think, but um, well, obviously I do. But <laughs> I was just joking. Um, that just sounded really serious for a second when I was trying to make it into a joke, and I couldn't. Oh, really, Michael? Really? I couldn't figure out what I wanted to say after it, so I just ended up sounding really serious. But obviously, I do, I do care what you guys think, but... The only thing that I don't really care for is the, um... Those little strangers and freaks things, some of them, because they're, like, small. Oh, look, it's my therapist. What's up, baby? Me, what, did you Excuse just call me a fucker? Me. Ah! I'll be joking me. So, anyway, that's, uh, the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know that there's not a lot of people still watching these videos, but, um... I have a feeling that GTA is not super long anymore, and I'm still very much enjoying it, so I will be finishing it, if that's okay with you guys. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, because that really helps me out. And, um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.